It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. So I'm going to start making my way up the death entrance now. These guys in the way they will cause you some issues. Go around this side, get this guy from the side. Roll over here. Okay. This one. Another one up there. These poisonous folks. Like I said, this is much easier to go up this way than what it is to come down. It's ridiculously hard to go up this way. Right, so there is a guy that's throwing poisonous darts at you there. So we will get him, we will be worried. We will be got. I'm going to get rid of all these bugs that are coming for you because they will cause you to lose. Maybe got poison now. Lords of them on this side, particular. And what you don't want is toxic and poison at once. What do you like that much to you? You've got the shield up. Plenty of items up this way and going up. Come across plenty of them. Plenty of these B guys, we'll come across plenty of them too. If you do come up this way, it's going to be the easier option than to come down this way. There's some trolls right up top. Falls back at the top. Good thing about them. If you come up this way, because you'll get them from the back. Should 
be able to just sneak up on them. It's much more of an aggro. Um, see, if you were coming the other way, you'd have been facing you. I struggle so much with this bit on my first playthrough. Not falling off the edge. That thing there is quite easy to kill, I don't think it does the right up to you now. You want to get up here because up these ladders there is a guy that will hit you with poison darts. So you want to get to him. There's a guy that climbs down the ladder. I'm just not waiting for him to do that. He seems to want to do it. Yep, there we go, he's there. Careful because you can easily fall off the edges. It's the main thing that will get me in this area. I just kept falling off edges and edges all the time. You just want to sort of clear the area before you start um, trying to explore it for any items. in this area is so much easier than going forwards. That thing, you can actually kill it from here I believe. Shoot these balls out of it, do a lot to it. I do now though. Pyromancer. It's much easier coming from this side, I'm just going to make sure that I am stolen.
nothing over there. Got a sword on. I don't think it's anything any special anything special that would stop you from getting any trophies or achievements though. So I don't think I'm gonna bother. Because I've already got it anywhere. You can see it down there anyway, you probably just don't totally have to drop off the edge. It probably won't kill you. I'm not gonna bother, it's not gonna affect any of my achievements, so I don't think it would do with yours. Careful because there is still the uh, enemies around. And they will get you. Give them the opportunity to. There's a bonfire just up here, so you shouldn't have to worry too much to get to this point. Got them dogs up right there, yeah. Easy coming from this side though. Empire's not here. I will take up all these items. Apart from the one that I didn't drop down to because I think the ours. Now we're up here. Um, the priority is to get whatever items are in this sort of area. Um, there is some guys down here. I do go down like that. I'm going to do a jump later to the top of this. When I do that jump, um, if you do miss it, you're going to fall down into them. It's not what, really what you want. So not a nice bridge this. I'm going to drop down there and I'm going to do the next. These dogs they deal a lot of damage, but they are right hard. So um, that's the benefit of dogs. So we've got some humanity from that item. Do be careful on these ledges because they are very treacherous. I don't believe there is anything else on this side apart from that humanity. Uh, I made it very little to work nothing really. I just want to try and make it across the bridge again. There's a roof of this building that we're going to try and jump to. First we're going to have to try and clear out areas. Actually accidentally online at the moment. Start of running past me. Let me start. 
and get inverted. thing about these areas is how treacherous they are walking across them and if you do get enemies they come at you these ones down here So I'm going to go get my souls back now. There's more than uh, these guys that come at you in this area, so there's two guys that come as well down these ladders, so do keep in mind that there's four enemies that come at you here. I've come down this sort of area quite a lot of times. I've got that item there. Do not tread on that bit because you'll fall down and it'll take you to the weedy bridge. Where it was before. And then you've just got to go all the way across it again. So I'm not going to gain out from falling down there. So I believe there is. Uh, more guys. If you go across that side, that bridge weaves. So you probably recommend you going down this side. This is the jump that we're gonna do over there. So down here is one of them guys that can intoxicate you. That's it, just the one. You get less of them guys at this side, but you've got lots of the other guys. These, there's plenty of these guys around in this area. Play this area first before I um, go down here. We should have some guys that want to fight. There is some. Oh, there is There's a guy there. Look. about clearing the area above first. <clears throat> so there's trolls down here. This is the bit that you come down. This is what would make this bit extremely hard. Um, there's two here. You can sort of get their attention one at a time. 
and if you run down here you don't even have to attack them they should just sort of run off the bridge Start getting them on this rickety one. We'll go down this one. Don't want to play. Ow! Right, so I'm back where I died. Um, I'm just going to get this guy's attention now. I might not. I might not try what I did last time and just fight them one at a time because you can get their attention like that. You just want to get them to hear your footsteps, really. without a doubt want to clear this area The main reason for just clearing the area is just so you get free roam of this area. Right, that guy's seen me down there. That's why I didn't go, want, want to go too far down that end. Because I knew that um, I'd rather this guy see me and the troll see me come down to get me. And they will climb down ladders. I'm sure you the best way to kill them. This troll's the worst bit because this is where you would come in from the depths this and this would be the first guy that you face. The amount of times that one of my first playthrough that he knocked me off the edge and I died was unbelievable. He just he was the right bastard and a pain in the ass and that's why you don't come down this way because he will knock you off the edge. There's not a lot of room to manoeuvre. And at that stage you won't have a right good shield either so what we're going to do is go down this ladder first so down here an item another one Now I'm going to try and do the jump. Right, so I missed the jump. I didn't just miss the jump, I've lost all my souls as well. So I'm going to have to try and do it again. There we go, I got there this time. I should be able to just drop off the edge here. There we 
we go. And I'll show you some items that I've missed now. So there's this item down here. Booming moss clumps, that's all you've got. But look how narrow that ledge is, it's just it is very treacherous this sort of area. <coughs> I'm just gonna cover some other items so you can roll up here to get to these other items down here. There's that item there. I've already been down here to make sure that I could get down here before I started recording. Uh, but climb up here, there's the uh, armor set here on like right on the edge by the ladders bar so I ended up picking it up when trying to go down the ladders otherwise we just seem to do it and then we've also this thing here that should be it for this bit there shouldn't be any more items that I need to cover now um, the only thing that I should need to do now Go straight up <coughs> and show you where you would have come in. So this would be where you come in from the depths <coughs> and as you can see with everything that I've cleared and every enemy that I've cleared in this area especially this one troll that's up here he's ridiculously hard to get round because you've not got a lot of room to manoeuvre how big they are and the first playthrough just knocked me off the edge so many times But I won't give up, I'm not going to go down, but I wish I never did in the first place. Because it weren't easy. So this is leading to the depths, I've got the key. But I cannot open it from this side. Maybe I should have opened the door. So after going all the way back down and all the way up through Firelink's line to come round by down by the depths I've had to come back up this way and come down this way I've killed everything in this room now so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go up on fire and finish a bit of that and next time we start Firelink shrine um, about that journey for you. Right, so we're going to go make our way back up to the Firelink Shrine. So, there's these slime balls behind us. So if you do have a fire weapon, which is very unlikely uh, in the first playthrough if you want to, but on your second playthrough you probably get fire for I do have a fire fire gargoyles Helberg. It is very good. And this will kill them. Slimes don't like fire. Quite a quick weapon as well, it's not a very slow weapon. It's not 
very long reach. It is quite a good weapon to use. It's quite powerful at the same time. The only thing about it is there's more resistances to fire in this game. Um, that's the only problem with this weapon. It's a very good weapon to use, especially in this area, because I don't think anything has got any fire resistance in this area. It's very good for long reach, I'm actually quite enjoying using it to be It's the first time I've used it when it's been fully unrated. Oh, uh -oh. So I did miss an item when I came down here, so do make sure you get it on the way up. It's just down there. I've already got it. It's quite good in narrow corridors, especially with this weapon. You do a straight down hit. So that trader is now there, who sells the master key, but it doesn't really matter now. Um, because you've already unlocked the door to Black Town. Aye, Shemai. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> but it's the same guy that were down in the there that sold the pistol shield. Before. Well, that is a shame, then. but no matter. So I've just retrieved my souls after falling off. So if we go down here now, um, the fire's now out. And if you go down here where the firekeeper was, the woman the woman. I'm sorry I've been to her before, there's actually um, all the items as well down here, there's, you should check, because someone's killed her, I'm going to show you in a minute who's killed her, 
Right, so we cleared the area uh, just to save time. But I'm going to take it up to the person that would have, that has killed the firekeeper. Um, you can let this person out. Um, but you've got to do it before you face the bear, El Gargoyle. If you're that curious, um, you can do it on your second playthrough, but it doesn't affect anything in your game. It doesn't change anything apart from you get some flight like, medal from releasing the guy. I've actually forgotten I haven't cleared the area. I will do. It won't be hard to clear the area anyway. So. Very good for this sort of area, for the long reach. Yeah, so I forgot to come down here when I went through the bear car coil, should have really come down. Oh. Yeah, so you go in here, there's a humanity down here as well, so make sure you get a few there. There's a corpse behind here when you're on the barrel. So yeah, and you go up through here. And there's a knight with golden armor and this is what um, the mystery and key unlocks, the mystery key that I was banging on about. Uh, actually the one where the sorcerer is, is uh, the residence key that you buy off the undead merchant in Udderberg. So if you can only let him out before the bar gargoyle, because after the gargoyle he manages to escape. I do not know how, but it does. And firekeeper um, gets killed anyway. So you can pick up all the stuff from her and you'll still meet him later on and you'll still be able to kill him later on and invade his world where he's hiding. So it has, it has little effect apart from the sunlight medal. So now I'm just, I'm going to sort of talk to these guys. These guys are going to go down to the catacomb and we'll speak to her first. You are undead as well? And we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. Did I not explain by the looks of you? Okay, so I speak to this guy. What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Hmm? Oh, you again. What business have you? Don't suppose we can help, though. We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. It is quite a chore, but I'm stuck with her. And Nico, too. I can't very well abandon them now. Hmm? Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. So, he will come back there. I'm going to go down to the catacombs eventually. Um, which is later on in the game that we're going to go down there. So, if you speak to him. Oh, hello there. 
You've been a stranger these days. Why? What? What? What spectacular pyromancy? Tell me about it. I, I, I have never seen anything like it. So if you say, yeah? Why, yes, of course. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate him myself. I'm in your debt once again. So you can get pyromancers from this guy. You can modify a pyromancer claim. I'm not going to modify that because I want to get um, a red slab from it. But um, you need to buy the majority of these spells. Probably just buy you everyone to get your achievements for all pyromancers. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go, or though. And Eve don't stay there forever as well. So keep that in mind. Um, there's a dragon here now. Um, I don't know whether it's worth to speak. I'll speak to him. Please. Hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? I am the primordial serpent, King Seeker Frant, close friend of the great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? So, if you want to, um, there's a covenant, so if you want to unlock this covenant, I wouldn't uh, speak to this guy at all uh, until you go down into the uh, demon, no, not demon ruins, uh, the Londo ruins, until you complete that area, because otherwise you'll miss out on um, a covenant, uh, it's achievement that you can get, so, but, I'm not doing it like that this time, so I'm going to say yes. Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo, and acquire the Lord Vessel. So it tells you to acquire Lord Vessel. I don't know whether it's actually that part of the section, but I just won't speak to him at all. Um, so I'm not going that way because that's the way to catacombs, and we do not want to go there yet. What I am going to get to. Because uh, after this area, the next area that I do, I'm going to go down to Dark Root Basin and Dark Root Gardens. I need to go get a rusted ring. This is a Hydra from Dark Root. Uh, yeah, this is a Hydra from Dark Root Basin. So if you roll off here, you'll land on here. And there's chests below you. Probably get them chests now. Might as well just get them. One more drone. Morning star. Poison. Red eye orb. No, I do believe that's not to do with online. I think that's it, just them three tests. Yep. So I'm going to go back around. This is too hard now, there's another chest here. Another talisman. So, them skeletons will chase you. I can kill these skeletons. 
because I do have a divine weapon. Imagine these are going to be quite a bit harder than what I was when I first came down here. So that's all I wanted to show you with that. I'm quite enjoying this Hellberg. This is. Uh, the Hellberg does have other stuff on it, like the poison resistances and stuff. I think it's like 25% or something. It adds to your poison resistances. That with a shield as well can do some ridiculous um, resistance here. It's also quite good. We made. Um, an electric weapon this. Um, I wanted to clear more as an electric weapon. Right, so we can get on here. Roll on. We need that key to where we're gonna go next. That's the whole point why we're coming up here but that means that I've got to go back around again. Um, so I need to drop off the side really. something there as well. <laughs> Just drop off again. I think there is some on the other side as well, but I'm not extremely certain of that. problem with this bit is you just gotta keep dropping off and have to come back up. But this time I do not have to drop off. I should be able to walk up to the top now. Just check there's nothing here. Right, so this is the next area we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to the Simon. So when you come in here it says curl up like a ball, so we're gonna do that. I have to wait a little while. Be patient. And then of course, you pick you up and fly us off to the back to the undead asylum. 